We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another second, the second episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. We're taking a look this time at Sergeant Brick, who was a Hasbro exclusive figure, only available through the Hasbro store back in 2010. <laughs> Just had to have a look. Um, yeah, so this guy was featured in the Ark Troopers episode of Season 3. He was a bounty hunter that came in to help train the clones on Kamino. And yeah, the only way to get this figure was part of this exclusive pack that came with the Galactic Battle Game Battle Mat, as you can see here. So the gimmick for this... Uh, the gimmick for this sort of figure line was you get cards, you get dice. Um, I will endeavor, endeavor to show the dice on another video, but you're able to get this sort of mat that you fold out. Um, this, is, this will be the first time I've actually done it. <laughs> I sort of got it and I stashed it away, but it also sort of Velcroed open at the handle there and came with various pouches. Um, where you could pop your figures in and cards and have them all sort of ready to go in a bit of a carry bag. Um, so yeah, as you can sort of see, you know, the little pouch. You poke the figures in there and you could carry them around. Yeah, I don't know that many collectors would have used that at all, but um, you know, I'm sure for the for the kids at the time, they probably could have had some fun. I was I was a little bit older for it, so it wasn't wasn't my thing. Um, but yeah, it folds out, you lay it down, and then you've got a surface for your uh, galactic battle game. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. And part of these videos, when I can, I'm going to try and share the trading card they come with. So here is Sergeant Brick. And basically what comes with is a bunch of uh, abilities points for abilities and then with the stands that came with these figures they each they all had different sort of notches taken out as you can see so that one's different again and what would happen you put them in that way slot them in underneath and then when you're playing the game you get these additionals. So, you know, his mechanical skill is nine plus four. And the other one is, yeah, battle skills 13 plus two. So adds those points together. I can't remember any of the other details on how to play the game. So that's as much as I can tell you about that. But we can talk about the figure. He seems to be a little bit dusty at the moment. That's okay. But the, uh, the other version of this figure we've seen, or this character, we've had one other species of this alien before in the cantina. There's a character called Pons Limbic. Um, he got the nickname Brainiac. So for them to bring in the same sort of species into the Clone Wars animation was quite cool. I do like this figure a lot. You know, he was one. He was probably one of the last later ones I got in the collection, just because the. Uh, I mean, still to this day, like nearly fifteen years later, <laughs> we still don't have access to you know the Hasbro Pulse Premium, whatever you want to call it. So all those all those Hasbro Pulse exclusives, most of them we can't get down here. So I think I can't remember where I picked this one up. Whether it was overseas at a Star Wars celebration, I can't actually remember. I scrolled through my Instagram feed back far enough. I might be able to work out exactly where I got him. But he looks pretty cool. The paint, the paint on his armor looks great. It's like he's done it himself. He 
a very similar sort of shaped armor to Dengar through the, like, the chest, which is pretty much the same as like Snowtrooper armor. The symbol on the shoulder pads, I'm not sure what that represents. Down to his trousers, just standard brown. Got the sort of ammo belt around the leg there, looks good. Some pouch on the boots. And I like the red stripe down the down the right boot. And yeah, it just comes with this small little blaster pistol. Which slots nicely into the holster there, so you can just, you know. Have him just sort of standing back, surveying the clone troopers as they're as they're doing their training. Still to this day don't have any of the, the sort of the cadet clones that were in the sort of the white and the green outfits. You're just trying to get that light to balance out a little bit so we can get a look at his his head sculpt because it's quite a light color and it's capturing the light a lot so there we go that's looking pretty good big chin big brain and just just another example of some of the the wacky wild wonderful sort of animated figures we got in the clone wars line which is something i really want to make a big feature of here on my Thursday throwback Clone Wars weekly videos. We'll be taking a look at some clones, some Jedi as we go along, but yeah, I just really want to sort of feature some of the wild and wonderful. Obviously, Pre Vizsla was one that kicked it off last week, but yeah, still outstanding, outstanding figures even by today's standards. Um, Clone Wars, as I've stated before, is probably one of my favourite lines that I've collected over the years. Some are quite pricey to get these days, and I think, you know, if Hasbro were to jump straight back in and uh, start doing these again in an animated style, I think they'd sell really well. There's a lot of nostalgia around it, but I guess if they're doing sort of realistic interpretations of Clone Wars characters, I guess that's, I guess that's still pretty cool. Um, Articulation-wise... Ball jointed head, ball hinge in the shoulders, elbows, just a swivel in the wrist, swivel the waist, swivel the hips, hinge in the knees, and no ankle articulation, which is, you know, standard for quite a lot of the Clone Wars figures. The, not all of them got the ankles, not all of them got the hinges in the wrists. But I do like the pointing finger. So yeah, really, really cool figure. I'm, I'm glad to have shared this one on my channel. <laughs> I've had it for quite a few years now, and uh, yeah, it's nice to actually grab these figures off the shelf and uh, you know sort of have a good look at them again. But yeah, it's the card. I even got the pointing finger on the card, so that's pretty cool. I did forget on the back of the card are the instructions. So I probably could have just read that, but, uh, you know, if you're, if you're inclined, you can pause that and, uh, take a look, <laughs> but, but yeah, there's Sergeant Brick. Cool character. You know, he was only in one episode, I, I think from memory and he's still an action figure. Not so hard to do, is it? <laughs> Finally, we could get that sort of treatment for characters again these days, right? All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm glad people are enjoying this sort of series of videos so far. Let me know what you think. Got any requests, please drop a comment below. I'll be happy to uh, take a look in the coming weeks and add it, to my, add it to my list of figures to do. And, uh, yeah, big thanks to Sci-Fi. Fellow YouTuber, good mate, all around good, good, good bloke. Uh, yeah, he just sort of, without requesting this one, he, uh, you know, asked if I had it, and uh, yeah, sort of 
planted the idea of doing this one for my second video, so appreciate that, mate. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at it. Yeah, until next week, may the force be with you, always.